That one ripped right center field. So much for settling into this game, Boog. No courtesy first pitch take right there. He was ready from the second he stepped into the box, got a pitch to hit, jumped all over it. I tell you what, that'll fire up the guys in your one in. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the new. As soon as that ball left his fingertips, it was trouble. Right on a platter, right down the heart of the plate. I'm sorry, but count a hitter is on high alert. This is what you live for to be in the dives. What a play! What I love about this swing is he stayed tall, allowed his hands to go directly to the baseball, letting that bat head get. Welcome, thanks for joining us. MLB The Show has interleague action for you this afternoon. It's the San Diego Padres taking on the Cleveland Guardians. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Chambi. Well, Singy, we're getting some rain right now leading up to first pitch, but we're told it should pass through. The barometric pressure is rising, and it's expected to clear up as the game progresses. You always wonder as a player when you get some dark skies and some rain pregame, but when somebody tells you, hey, it's going to pass through and clear out, it gets you right back on track where you need to be mentally. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Just about to get started and towing the slab for the Cleveland Guardians, Taiwan Walker. And Singy, it's unique these days, but he's more of a pitch to contact type of guy. Yeah, Boogie doesn't rely too heavily on the strikeout. He knows he needs to miss barrels, get some soft contact, let the defense do work behind him. And I think a guy like that can keep a good tempo, don't give hitters time to adjust or think. They can move through a ball game, and you look up, they're in line for a quality start. We'll see what he's got in this one. And that one lifted in the air center field. Paquez pulls it down, and there's two down. Batting third, the third baseman, number 13. Two outs, nobody on. Manny Machado, the next up for the Padres. Two outs, let's get out of here. No score, just getting started, top of the first. Swing and a pop-up. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. We're midway in inning number one. And now the Guardians will see what their bats can do in a scoreless ball game. Emmanuel Paquez digs in now. Paquez swinging it much better this season in away games than here at home. Emmanuel Paquez. The wind of the pitch. Bounced up the middle. Cronenworth handles the chance. Off balance throw in time. One up, one down. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned. Base is empty with two away. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. No score here in the second. This to center field. Paquez under it. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Padres down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Next to hit, Ha Sung Kim. Hitless and four at bats yesterday. Sing, you talk about a guy that has all the skills. The range is really good, but the arm just stands out, and he makes all the plays. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Makes the play, and it's out number three. Padres go down quietly. Still no score. Emmanuel Paquez digs in for the Guardians. 
the center fielder, number eight, Emmanuel Paquette. And a foul ball. Get your pitch driver right now. Next offering is in for a strike. It feels like we might be headed towards a rain delay if the weather doesn't ease up, Chris. Yeah, the umpiring crew are going to pay attention to how the weather is impacting this game. And the moment it becomes dangerous, I think, is the moment we'll be forced to take a break. Going to count one and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up right, a following pitch to help fly. you get that out. Next offering upstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Up the middle, Kim gloves it on the run, sends it over to first, and that is the inning. The Guardians go down in order, and we are still scoreless. So two down, Tyler Naquin to the plate. Now batting, the right fielder. Tyler. The 0 1. Out to center. Paquez drifts towards it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Padres 2 and the Guardians nothing. Hey, two two way, outs, two base way. is empty. Aristides Aquino now. Now back the left fielder. And the pitch. Aquino. Lifted in the air, right center field. Can't get their base hit. And it gets by him. Around second now, going for three. So the batting order turns over. And up next for Cleveland, Emmanuel Paquez. Try to keep that hitting streak alive. Ten game hitting streak for the young man. First offering misses the mark. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Come on, baby. See it, drive it. Let's go. Hey, let her fly. Let her fly. And that one is lifted in the air. Grisham makes the play. One down. Now batting the designated hitter. Jorge Tyler Naquin will hit next. The right fielder, number 12. Tyler. 2-2 Two -two now. That's out to center field. Paquez has this one sized up. And there's one away. Emmanuel Paquez now at the plate and still looking for that hit Number to keep eight. this streak going and Emmanuel. this might be his last shot at it boot if you're a base runner you've got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get into scoring position first pitch and he just misses At the belt and fires. And it's even up. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. Next offering is foul back. With two strikes. May see some movement over there at first base. Try to stay out of a double play here. All right, come on now. One time. Let it fly. And a pitch. And the one two misses to even the count. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. All right, one time, right here. Next one is off the plate. And a full count now. 
The go-ahead run aboard at first. Oh, man, Nobody God, out. Driver right here. And ball four to a board. Just missed his spot on the inside right there. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. In the air, out towards right center. Grisham racing to his left. Makes the catch. Runner tags up for third. And he moves up 90 feet. Runners at the corners now. One away. Here's Jose Ramirez. Here we go. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Checks over to first. Back safely. Two on, one out. Runner takes off to the right side. And it gets by him. The throw to third. And he's in there as they jump ahead and run scores. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. One away, runners at first and third. Now it's Fran Mil Reyes. Three-o down, and that'll load the bases. A real bad time for a walk. You're trailing in this ball game, trying to keep things close. They've been in a difficult spot, and things aren't getting any easier. Here's Adley Rutschman. Paquez on third. Ramirez at second. Reyes at first. One gone. And a swing and a miss. Huge strikeout there. Got to give him a huge amount of credit on the mound right there. He got squeezed a little bit on the pitch right before that one. You know it should have been a strike. Everyone in the building knew that it should have been a strike, but he didn't let it get to him and throw him off his game. Came back with another good pitch for the punch out with the bases loaded. That's good pitching right there. Two outs, bases full. Here's Adam Frazier. And Boog, I'd say he's due. That's the third. Handled by Machado. They take the force out, out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Eighth inning coming up. Guardians four and the Padres three. Emmanuel Paquez getting ready to hit. Hey, right guy, and a little something there. extra at stake Number in this eight. at bat as he's hitless so far with his hitting streak in jeopardy. And a foul ball. Come on, let it rip right here. Lugo picks over, hey. and he's back in easily. The pitch. And it's one and one. No, he's really working him away this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Throw to first, and he dives back in safely. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. Come on, keep it going up there. Your turn, your turn. And the pitch. Ball and that one goal. missing low. Hey, keep it going up there. Clutch up. On the ground, right side. On to first. And that is the inning. Guardians lead one, but they hang on to a one-run lead, 4-3. Every team wants a reliable closer, and that's exactly what he delivers for his squad. They expect to win when he's on the mound at the end of the ballgame. 
and he just produced his 25th save of the year. 4-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.